Hello students, your instructor here, John Mendiola, with another screencast, this one in Dreamweaver. So I have an index page and I want to make additional pages for my site. Uh, my index page is all done, so if I go to live view, the design mode, I can see I have the background, I have the logo and some navigation here uh, that has some hover effects on it. And then I also have, you know, uh, this kind of transparent overlay, I called it, and then I have, you know, heading one, heading two, and then I have this little button here, which has a nice little... Uh, color transition, I don't want to hover over it. And that's basically the whole home page. Well, now I want to make my inner pages, as I like to call them. So let's use philosophy, for example. The first thing I did, I'm just going to split view here. The first thing I did was I said, well, most of this, or at least a good portion of this, I want to stay the same. I want the same background. Uh, I want this, you know, the logo and the navigation, in other words, the header area. I want that to remain the same. What I want to change is uh, the wrapper element might need to change a little bit. And stuff, certainly the stuff in the wrapper element. Uh, need to change. So I don't need this, you know, this transparent overlay thing. You know, I'm not going to need the dog image, or at least not that image in that spot in that way. I need other things. So what I can do is I just went, all I did was a file, oops, yeah, make sure I, I have my index file, and then the source code selected. So if I'm in the CSS, that's fine, but what I want to save on a new HTML, I want to make sure I click on source code, go to file, save as, and I just used a new name. So I used philosophy.html. I'm going to hit cancel right now, but you would just save it into your site folder. Mine's K9 site. Uh, and then I started cutting away the things in the HTML that I didn't need for this page and added in the new stuff. And then I also had to alter the CSS document. It's the same one. It's called mainstyles2.css. Same uh, two CSS files that were in this one are in this one. Because it's the same as, it kept those links. So if I look at the source code in my philosophy HTML, I can see it's exactly the same as before. So it's one link uh, looking for the web font style sheet, the other link looking for the main styles 2 style sheet. So that's the same, so it's still going to point to those to get its fonts and its style information. So what I did here is you can see, well, you know, the wrapper is a little bit different because the previous wrapper, it had the dog in it, and I want to keep that wrapper the same. So if I were to go into, you know, if I had the thought process of, well, I need to edit the wrapper element because, you know, this one doesn't have a picture of a dog in it, things like that. If I went in here to wrapper and I, you know, got rid of the background image, let's say, that works for the inner pages, but then since the index file is also linked to that CSS file, the dog won't show up, right? The dog won't show up because it's a background element on the wrapper. So what I did is I made a new uh, a new ID. I called it wrapper inner, okay? Underscore inner, not space. You don't want space because space means it thinks that inner is something that's a part of the wrapper element. Really wrapper underscore inner is the element, okay, it is the thing, it's the ID. So a lot of things are pretty much the same, right, the background color, the width, the positioning, all that. The major difference, or maybe the only difference, is that I just don't have a height because I gave it uh, an overflow of hidden, which means it only grow as long or as tall as it needs to, and I got rid of the background image. Okay, otherwise everything else is the same. So that's that, and I just add it all to the CSS file, the main styles too. I just keep adding it to it. And you might think, well, if I add all these things to the CSS file, is that going to be problematic? And the answer is, for our concerns, no. What will happen is, when it loads up the index page, right, nothing in our HTML, if we look here in the HTML, nothing is asking for wrapper inner. It's just asking for wrapper and some other things like the text overlay. Well, since wrapper inner is not being asked, it won't use that style information. But on my philosophy page, if I go to the source code on my philosophy page now, you know, very early on, there's a div with the ID of wrapper inner. So it's going to look for the wrapper inner. And since wrapper, the original wrapper ID is not being used, it won't look for that information, that style information. It's just going to look for wrapper inner. So a CSS file can have many things, many styles defined in it, even if all of them aren't used on a particular page of that site, and that's 100% fine, especially for our purposes. So, we're getting to some more things on you know, managing your CSS document across many pages. Coming up.